Have you ever wondered how the smartphone in your hand, the coffee machine brewing your morning cup, the bicycle you ride, or an air conditioner cooling your place came to life? Behind every product, there's a fascinating journey of design, engineering, and innovation. Hello everyone, I'm Matsal Jain, a mechanical engineer and a passionate designer. Today, in this video, I will be sharing my experience on how a mechanical engineer sees a problem statement and turns ideas into reality. Also, how our roles are different from, yet similar, to product and industrial designer. In the end, I will take you through the process that I follow for product development. So without spending much time, let's get started. Look around you, every innovative product from smartphones to electric cars combines beauty with function. But have you ever thought what actually makes these products work? That's where the magic of mechanical engineering comes in. Mechanical engineering is all about turning ideas to life through design, analysis and manufacturing of mechanical system. It is one of the most oldest and versatile fields, touching everything from engines and machine to advanced robotics and cooling systems. Basically, a mechanical engineer applies the principle of physics and material science to ensure that product functions both efficiently and safely. They are involved in every stage of product life cycle, from research and development to design and manufacturing. Now in product design, a mechanical engineer plays a crucial role in translating the ideas into functional and manufacturable products. We ask questions like how this product will work, how it can be made to work better, what material should be used to make it cost effective and durable, and how it can be manufactured to scale. Mechanical engineers are responsible for handling the technical design of the product, working on internal components and mechanism that basically makes the product function. For example, when designing an electric vehicle, we focus upon integrating the motor, suspension, brakes, and cooling system to ensure the efficient performance and safety of the vehicle. Meanwhile, in developing a home appliance like refrigerator, we focus upon the cooling mechanism, insulation, compressor efficiency to make it run smoothly and energy efficiently. So now you know that we mechanical engineers are involved in product designing. But what tools we use for product development? The first is the computer aided design software, basically a CAD software. This software is used for designing and visualization. Here we take care of the complete functionality and form of the product. Now second is a CAE software. This is used for analysis and testing of part assembly or a complete product virtually. Here we set up a real life environment for the product and see how it performs during motion, energy transfer and force. Number three is the CAM software which we use for doing prototyping and manufacturing. The software is used to control the machine tools in manufacturing of work pieces. So to sum up, the development starts from CAD where we design to CAE where we test to CAM where we do the manufacturing. Now let's explore what is the role of industrial and product designer. So here we are having three person. The first is the industrial designer, second is the mechanical engineer, and third is the product designer. So industrial designer focus upon user experience and aesthetics, mechanical engineer focus upon the functionality and mechanisms, and product designer often bridge the gap considering both functionality and appearance to meet the market needs. A product designer work with mechanical engineer and industrial designer to make sure that product is both appealing and functional. So when it comes to design approach, a mechanical engineer typically focus upon designing the product inside out starting with the internal mechanism and functionality. On the other hand, an industrial designer often begins outside in, starting with the aesthetics and user experience. Now, being a mechanical engineer and working in the domain of product design and development since four years, I have upgraded my skills in both product and industrial design. Throughout my career, I have worked on wide range of projects from automotive components to consumer electronics. Each project begins with brainstorming on problem statement, where I identify the core challenges and requirements. Now, let me take you through the process that I follow as a mechanical engineer while designing the product. So I start with problem identification. Here, I identify the need the product will address, understand the requirements and conduct market research to pinpoint the key challenges. The next step is the conceptualization. Here, I generate a range of ideas and potential solution. This is where creativity and technical expertise kicks in. I create sketches and work on different solutions which are solving a single problem. And finally, narrow down my ideas to the best possible sets of solution. Now after this, I do feasibility study, where I evaluate the technical and financial viability of the solutions. Conducting feasibility studies and cost analysis help me to select the most feasible concept. The next process is actually my favorite, where I start converting my final idea into a functional design. Yes, it's a design and development stage. Here I create detailed design using engineering principle and tools. I use CAD software to create 3D models and perform simulation with FEA tools to ensure everything is technically feasible and ready for prototyping or manufacturing. After this, the next stage is prototyping, where I use 3D printing or CNC machine to build prototypes and test them rigorously. So once the prototype is completed, we do test and validation. 
where I conduct stress tests, performance evaluations, and gather user feedback to ensure that the product meets all functional and safety requirements. Now, based on the test result, I make a necessary adjustment to the design and again create prototype for testing. This iterative process of prototyping and testing is the key of resolving an issue and perfecting the product. Once the product is refined, I prepare the final design for production. This involves creating detailed manufacturing drawings and working closely with manufacturing teams to ensure everything is ready for production. So this is all about the process that I follow for product development. This much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you find the video useful, do like it, share it with your friends and colleagues. Also, if you are new to my channel, do subscribe. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.